Murphy, or good afternoon. Uh, we wound up actually getting... Aaron didn't put in the movie thing last night because, yeah. We, we wound up getting... Would you say is that Pate de Munt at five? Yep. Okay, and it's almost three. That'll give us time to get something to eat and deal with the cold and whatnot and not rush because we need to take trams. Dude, with the oddness of, well, they've probably salted somewhere in, centra, in Centrum, but out here, it got down to like minus four last night, and it's getting to a high of two today, and it's still foggy. It's been foggy all day, so the sun and the warmth hasn't really gotten through to... <laughs> yeah, it's so cold, nobody's on the skate park. Like, they're not even trying to go, like, it was actively snowing and there were people on the skate park. <laughs> There's something going on right now in the, in the weather and on the surface. That means we probably shouldn't take less than dexterous air and out onto the ground as much as possible. So, yes. Uh, we did WoW stuff this morning. Trying to figure out how to get the crafting orders working. Okay, we know how they work. It's just that it's such a new and fundamental change system that nobody knows what they're doing with it. <laughs> um, or they figured it out and say, hey, I want to make this or I want to own this. So they put in a crafting order for it. Um, and they gather all the mats for it. But they can't make it because they're not an engineer. And I go look under public crafting orders and someone's provided all the mats for something. And I make it for them. And it's probably because nobody was making it for a while, but somebody had the plans. Somebody got the plans but couldn't learn it because they weren't engineering. Because it's a random drop from something. And so I forked up the cash for that and have been making the orders through the crafting system. <laughs> So people then tell each other, hey, just put in a crafting order for this. It's a really good item and it'll get made. <laughs> so just like the NPCs are saying, you make a name for yourself. Nobody knows their cares that I'm making it. They just know that, hey, the Cosgarite Fisher friend, put in a crafting order for it. Get the mats, put in a crafting order for it. You know, and it'll get made. And if it's, since it's a North American server, it's probably a bunch of people that are like, oh yeah, well, it, it'll get made overnight. You just wake up in the morning. Because I wake up in the morning, get on WoW, check the crafting orders, go check my fishing nets, <laughs> and have chores to do on WoW. Like, it's not just dailies. I have chores to do. <laughs> like, these freaking dragonkin have easier chores than I do. I don't know if you've been back to the Sapphire Enclave, but there's a, there's a blue dragonkin walking forward with like arcane on his hands, and there's three brooms in a row in front of him, <laughs> brushing the pathway. And I'm like, whatever. So yeah, we're going to go see Black Panther. Um, it's going to be dark here in like an hour or so. Um, so yeah, we will... What do you think? Should I take the camera or not? Just, no, yeah, because it's funky and it's still, it's a Marvel film and I know the Dutch, so they don't really care, but it's just easier if I don't have anything in my hands. So it'll be dark, we'll be home, we'll probably talk about it. It has been out a while. If you have not gone on seen it and you aren't... If you haven't gone and seen it, you probably don't care about spoilers. Yeah, there's going to be spoilers because it's been out long enough. Then again... We hadn't gone out and seen it, so... Yeah, but we missed... The, we skipped past all the spoilers and stuff the first week, and then everyone piped down on it. Yeah. So, but now it's like, you've either had spoilers, or you don't care. <laughs> oh, it's cold outside, but the lingering bacon smell. <laughs> yeah. So we're back from the movie, and the spoilers are coming, so you can all click off now. Um, yes. <laughs>
So, as I'd seen, people said, well, the T'Challa remembrance thing, at the very beginning of the movie, didn't last very long. <laughs> like, the yeah, whole... But it was both important to see from their cultural point of view, but also as kind of closure for the fans. Well, yeah, and they he just didn't... I mean, he did, quote-unquote, die off-screen, but he died in the movie. <laughs> Like, he's technically alive at the very beginning of the movie. But he only has, like, a heart rate of 31. Yeah. And they don't say why. They don't say what of. Um, or anything. Anyways, so, yes. And then... Obviously, the Namor... Um... <laughs> Fistman. <laughs> the Fistman <laughs> <sighs> happens. That's at the end of the movie. They do have the the get to know our culture. And as Shuri was being taken around in the dive suit, I was like, this is exactly us seeing Wakanda for the first time when T'Challa comes home and they yeah. pan across the city and all the kids playing and the people in the market and T'Challa's walking through. Like, they're doing deliberately this. Yeah. So, later at the end, when she can kill him, she remembers the similarities between her society and his, and so doesn't actually kill him. Yeah. Because everyone has family, everyone has kids. <clears throat> Doing vengeance will give you vengeance. It won't always give you closure, and it's just going to cause more fighting. Yeah. And... That's, that's, that, that's the thing. Um, but they definitely trumped up the whole tech thing um, a lot. There's definitely, you know, like, hey, let's do some shout outs. Riri is the new Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> like, she has the old clunky suit, um, but even still has the sleek red. And, like, she blasted an arc beam out of her chest. I like the, uh, the call out that, yeah, there's there's tutorials on how to fly one of these on YouTube now. Yeah. Uh, Which, I wouldn't be terribly surprised if there are. Uh, yeah, yeah, there probably, well, there are, because the, the guys with the three, you know, and there are others of that. Anyways, the thing that really gets me is... <sighs> that Black Panther and the Wakandans are exhibiting levels of technology that they have in the 32nd century. Yeah. Specifically with Shuri and her fist weapons. They're not fist weapons, they're guns, but they come out of her fist and they shoot little circles, just like in the very first episode, as we saw, as they, whoop, they put their hands out and then a gun forms out of yeah. Pro programmable matter. <laughs> so Shuri has programmable matter. Um, yeah. Also, yeah, the whole storyline was definitely, it flowed. My only, my only thought is, if they, I, I, we are both white. I was raised white. I do not understand if long pauses are a part of black culture. I didn't but notice. I guarantee you. There, th that movie, if you, you could, <laughs> the editing room would be tiny little, like an old timey editing room where they would make actual cuts in the film. Would There'd be slivers all over the place. But there were just the, the pauses and the pan arounds to look at everyone were like, I was like, this is really slow. This whole, this movie was almost three hours and it could have been two and a half if they just shaved dramatic pauses. Yeah, but whether the pauses were black culture or just letting the movie happen, it's like there's there's two sides to that. I'm I'm very aware of that, but it, it seemed more like I understand during the funeral rolls. Yeah, this is the spoiler thing during the funeral rolls, having a long pausing thing. But like, do we uh, when they're having the council meeting with the queen? You also are experiencing it more okay but yeah during the the council meeting 
when she basically got up and yelled that I am alone, there was a lot of... There were not. Okay. I need to shut up. He's got that tone in his voice. I'm, I'm that I'm telling you that they were not as significant as you noticed. Okay. And I did notice that you were overstimulated, I suppose. Part of it was the fact that I was having a very bright light flashing in my on the to the left side. Even I after your watch. Too. Yeah. That's how bad it was. Yeah. When the someone had their phone full brightness and was using the screen as a flashlight when they came back from the bathroom. That's when I noticed it. Yeah, that's when you noticed because it was very bright then, but I was noticing the little peaks as they were checking their phone. Yes. During the movie. It was so mm, like, I, at, after a while, I moved back against the wall so I could physically use Aaron to block the yeah. thing. But when I get flash of light out of the corner of my eye in a super dark theater in a movie that's not very bright to begin with... <sighs> yeah. But yeah. So one thing they did really super well that I'm happy about is um, whenever someone is speaking a language, they had captions. And it wasn't just like, speaks Wakandan. It was what they were saying. Unfortunately, this means that we didn't get as much out of the movie as we could have because the captions were in Dutch. Yeah. We are in the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah. So when they were speaking English, we, we saw, we saw, they were all subtitles. We, they're captions and subtitles. But there's a weird difference. Yeah, these were subtitles. These were Dutch subtitles. <laughs> so when they were speaking not English, whether they were speaking French, the first time we noticed it was the very beginning when the <laughs> French minister in the United Nations is babbling up a storm and I'm just like, oh shit. Oh, is that how this is gonna be? Let's just hope they don't speak a lot of French in this. Never mind, they go to Haiti <laughs> and they're speaking. Haiti, they go to. And then the T Tolonkans are all speaking like Mesoamerican, <laughs> which is Spanish. They dro they drop some Spanish in there, which is not hard for yeah, us. We we understand just enough Spanish. Yeah, to reaffirm the basis of what they're talking about, in case we didn't know the Dutch word, because the Dutch word was using something very precise, or. It, it, it would be like, we're used to seeing the word Maisha, but I've also seen much more recently they're using Maida, M-E-I-D-E-N, which is not girls, and I, talk, I, I think I, I talked to Cherry, it's not girls, it's gals. Mm. It's referring, it's, it's what we would call like Ms. Gotcha. It's your generic woman who's not an old woman, not ein Frau, but is not a girl. It's... Maida. Hmm. <laughs> Youngins and Maida. That's what I mainly hear. Boys and girls. But they're not meaning girls like grade school girls. Anyways, that's a little off the topic. But yes, we did not get a lot of the movie. Or we got a lot of the movie, but there were some parts we may have missed. <laughs> I'm... So, more spoiler. There's a point at towards the end where Namor is talking to one of his fish girls, and I don't know what they were talking about. At the oh, at the very end when when they came up and were like, "Why didn't we take them over and make the yeah. basically why weren't the what Condens kneeling before us?" She saved me from death, blah blah blah, and fully explained. Like I understood enough of the Dutch subtitles to kind of realize what was going on, but. Neither of us got the nuance of the conversation. Yeah, and I wasn't sure if he was saying... I, I knew he was talking about life. Like, either she saved my life, or she's going to die eventually. Oh, yeah. No, he wasn't talking about that. He basically... Um, for those of you who may also be in the similar situation as us and watching the thing in foreign language subtitles, it basically says... We won't really be doing anything. However, the, you know, and they're going to keep our secret. We won't do anything to the overworld. But if the overworld attacks Wakanda, we will defend them. 
Oh, they made it. Okay. Because that's the idea, is nobody knows about them down there. Yeah. So, and that's what she said, I'll keep your secret, I will do this, blah, blah, blah. Just we need to come to a peace, because we are equals. Yeah. They could have went to the active war or the cold war of United States, Russia. And yeah. yeah. Anyways, so that's that's that. That's Wakanda forever. Um, that's the last of the year. I, we, we've got. We're gonna game more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is an actual weekend, so we can be up a little bit longer. I've grabbed three of my beersies out, and I should bring Aaron's drink over. Yay! Yes. Oh man, yours is refrigerated. I just don't want to wait. It's. <laughs> this is the. It's 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 eight. 40. We went to the movie at 5. It was a three-hour movie, and it took us a while to get home. <laughs> so, yeah.